Hello guys, my name is Josh, and in this video, I'm introducing you to a Figma file that you should use to start every new project in Figma. Of course, you'll get free access to this file. All you need to do is click the link in the description, download the file, and upload it to your Figma dashboard. And now, I'll explain what's included in this file and why you should definitely start with it. Once you've imported and opened the file in Figma, you'll see this page. Let's begin by creating a new page. Now, let's take a look at the preset text styles on the right side. You'll find a series of predefined styles you can apply to your new texts. Of course, you can edit all the styles and adapt them to your needs. Whether it's the font, size, or line height, everything is customizable. Let's create a new text to show you how to use the styles for yourself. On the right side, you can change the styles of your text with just a few clicks and switch them to other styles. Whether you need a large text for headings or a standard text for body copy, all styles are optimized for user interface design and follow the 4-pixel grid system, fitting perfectly into digital products. To change the typography styles, open local variables. From there, open the typography collection, where you'll find all the settings for sizes, spacing, and fonts. If you want to change the font for your app, make the change here, and the font will automatically adjust on all screens. To show you the next feature, let's create a rectangle. Under Apply Styles and Variables, you can now choose from over 200 colors to use. Whether you need a bright red or a deep green for your app, there's something here for everyone. If we open our Local Variables again, we can select the Color Collection. This section holds all the colors you can use. To change a color, just click on it and a window will open where you can define your new color. Next, let's close the window and select our rectangle. On the right side, you can set the element's radius. Instead of entering a number, you can also use preset tokens. If you type rounded in the search box, you'll see various suggested tokens for the radius. By selecting Rounded XL, you'll get a radius value of 16 pixels, a very popular corner radius for app elements. Now, let's copy the rectangle. Then, we select both elements and combine them with Auto Layout. On the right side, we can now define spacing. Under Apply Variable, we can, for example, set a padding of 16 pixels by selecting the token P16. We can set the same spacing for left and right as well as for top and bottom. If we open our local variables again, we can select the spacing collection. There, you'll see all the tokens we just selected. If you change values in this table, the spacing we defined for our rectangles will automatically adjust. The same approach applies to our radius values. By using the preset tokens consistently in your designs, you'll create a scalable design system for your app. In the future, if you change font sizes or colors, they'll automatically update on all your app screens. This way, you can be sure that there won't be any spacing errors when setting margins or when handing your designs over to developers. Additionally, as a beginner, you won't need to start from scratch with each new project. You can use predefined settings, such as colors. This greatly shortens the path to your first app and saves you a lot of work and time. And if you now want to learn how to build such extensive apps in Figma yourself, I recommend my video course. In this course, You'll learn in over 160 videos how to build professional apps with Figma and what truly matters. And if you choose the premium version, you'll not only get access to all the videos, but I'll personally help you achieve your next goal. All you need to do is visit my website, appcourse.io, and sign up for the course. So what are you waiting for? Your new career as a UX designer is just a few clicks away.